it, is it on? Is it okay? Uh, what's going on, Shadow Clan? Um, I was recording a previous video after this, but it was like two seconds long because I was trying to get my um troll working again for some reason. Wouldn't move or something like that. But guys, look at this. Look, look, look at this. Okay, let, let me, let me. Wait, wait. Why am I? Okay, okay. It's been a while since I played Destiny for a while. Ever since today, I got okay. Steps. Okay, we can stop doing that now. Look, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. I came into Destiny and I got this with the powerful looking hammer on the side. That is pretty sick. I'm not dismantling like this. So we got two exotics on right side, and you get the exotic mark. I just got it today, and I got a new emote. And skin, you, you, you guys gotta check this out. Uh, no, that's not the that's not the emote. That's that's my taken emote. That's the that's the possessed one. Just don't worry about that one. This is what I got. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Okay, time to move on. We, I got it from her, and then I got the new shader, which is this one right here, which is looking pretty powerful. But anyway, guys, this video is to tell you where is Zerg this this week. So what you want to do is he is in the tower, uh, hangar this week actually today, guys. So what you want to do is take a right, basically we see tower hangar right here, or hangar or hangar day Torre, and then the, I, I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm really sorry if I did. Um, and then you got I think you guys know this way because if you guys just got Destiny or something like that. You'd be probably told to go to Amanda Holiday or something like that, which is like over there. Factions are over here. All the factions, but what you want to do is turn our left, and then he is right here. Like he always is. I mean, not like he always is, but you guys know what I meant. But first to go over, no backup plan. So we have Force Multiplier, Shotgun Triggers, Force Beer, and Force Beer's Irritation Increases. So that is pretty sick. I'm not even going to lie. And I like I like it because I like the um it looks like a holographic kind of feature. Uh, I'm not I'm just gonna not gonna lie about that a holographic feature. Then we got the twist fate and infusion, but then we got the increased discipline. But I'm not really gonna go over that because I think you guys know what that means by now. Increased discipline is basically how intellect is basically your super cooldown. So you guys might want to get that up, but mine is like 96 and. My discipline is basically your cooldown time, so your reduce time for grenades, and that's really all it is. And strength is basically um, your cooldown of your melee. So that's all it is, and that is my, that's tier 5, so tier 5, tier 4, and that. But anyway, go on, keep going over. Um, we got rain blows, increased melee attack speed, that is very helpful in certain situations. Bonus grenade. Energy on melee hits. In my opinion, I'll probably go with this because it's pretty sick. Cause I, I like meleeing a lot, so it's like that that would go with it. I'm just looking at my muscles right now. I don't, I don't even think I have. Oh, I think I have some muscles. You know, okay, and I, I'm not even gonna show on the camera. Anyway, shotgun loader increases the reload speed of shotguns. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, but I use sniper rifles because I like sniper rifles more for some reason. It, that might actually depend on what the shotgun or sniper rifle is. But rocket launcher loader increases the reload speed of rocket launchers, which I would guarantee use because you can reload. You, you m probably might need that reload speed for rocket launcher. But anyway, go on on to the oh, radiant dance machines looking pretty powerful. Ooh, okay. I, I, like, I like the green. I, I don't know. It just soothes me. It just soothes me. Anyway, the dance, which is a pretty sick name. You can move more quickly while you're aiming down your weapon. So aiming down your weapon is meaning basically crouching. Aiming, aiming. Uh, why does it say aiming down? I'm, I'm thinking of um aiming down. So I'm thinking of Call of Duty because I've been playing that a lot. Playing zombies and multiplayer, so I've been thinking of that really a lot. So while you're aiming your weapon, so basically while you're trying to like hold RT in the back. If you guys have Xbox One. Um, is LT in the back, so when you're trying to aim for your weapon, if you guys just got Destiny, copy, this might be a helpful tip, so just hold LT and then shoot with your RT, so, it's pretty sick. And then, PlayStation, I really have no idea, but I'm, I guarantee it's probably pretty similar, and since, so you guys might want to test that out, 
It's more explaining to do. But anyway, infusion and twist speed. We got to increase intellect, they increase discipline, the sniper rifle ammo, and increases the amount of sniper rifle ammunition you can carry, which is pretty sick. And machine gun ammo is probably the same thing as like sniper rifle ammo, but not a sniper rifle. Increases the amount of machine gun ammunition you can carry. I'd go with sniper rifle ammo, and this is my opinion, guys. If you do have a machine gun, this would be pretty sick. Uh, if you do have a machine gun and a sniper rifle, that is actually your choice and concern. Because, in my opinion, I don't have a machine gun on me. I have a rocket launcher. I hold that, but I have a sniper rifle, so I'll probably go with that. An arc double down increases agility for 5 seconds after- why did it- why, why did my voice just go higher? Okay, not even gonna worry about that. After an arc double kill. But anyway guys, solar double down increases the agility for 5 seconds after a solar double kill. And then it's the same thing for void. Void double down increases the agility for 5 seconds after a void double kill. So, since I got my new mark, I'll probably go for solar because, um... I think, what, what is it, what's my mark? I think I can do, like, something more damage. I can do 20, okay, so your Sunbreaker subclass upgrades 25% faster, and your level increases 10% faster. So, that is pretty good, unless they should have released this probably earlier, because it would have helped a lot. If you guys agree, it, this would have helped a lot of people. Whatever you're, oh, I think you would have to be at least a level 20, 25, maybe. Rather than a 2025 range, because you have to get Night Stalker, Sunbreaker, or um, Stormcaller. So those are all the things. And then, basically, what we're going to do is go over the last thing we need for Radiant Dance Machine, which is, well, we already did that, so never mind that. So I go with Solar, in my opinion, because Solar is not my great thing. And this Impossible Machines... It grants you landfall. So, guys, if you have, um, like it says right here, unlocks the Stormcaller subclass node landfall for free. So, Storm Trance or Stormcaller, um, sorry if I'm wrong about this, but isn't it like the third, third section you unlock, um, landfall? Right? It's the third or second section. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong, it's right the third or second section. But with impossible machines, you just get it automatically, so you you don't have to master it, master all the um perks before you get to landfall. If that didn't make any sense, I will repeat this again. So basically, you can just get that for free without doing any like without getting any of the perks. Basically, working and trying to kill enemies around and doing lots of hard missions. So that's ba that's basically what it means. I would have to think of that too because. You know, I, 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 I gotta think sometimes. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm crying a lot. Swamp. I said swamp. Let, let me think about that, swamp. But you guys have 44 minutes until Zerg goes away. If you guys are in another country and it's a day behind or something like that, this is probably pretty good for you. But you guys, you have 44 minutes to do this, so... Brush, do, do whatever. I, I really mean to, guys, to make this video faster, but I'm gonna stop talking about this so I can... Get this video faster. But anyway, increases melee attack speed, so it's basically like rain blows, but with basically the warlock hunt. And impact induction, I'd go with that in my opinion, snap gets charged. If I was a warlock, which I'm not, I was right. Hand cannon loader increases the reload speed of hand cannons and sniper rifle loader increases the reload speed of sniper rifles. I would use this. Cause I have sniper rifle. And the weapon for this week is Dragon Breath, guys. Uh, I really wanted this thing, but I really only have 20, 37 minutes, so it, it's alright. I can probably just get exotics and just do this. Hopefully, I can do it. But anyway, Napalm, and this is the reason. This is the reason why this gun, this weapon, is so incredible. If you guys, you you guys have to get this gun. It's really incredible. It releases. Release trigger after weapon. So basically, when a rocket launcher hits the ground, it causes like a whole pyre, like a, basically a whole field of fire, and it just burns you. Like a dr like that's why it's called Dragon's Breath because imagine a dragon shooting 
fire on the ground and just burns everything. That's that's basically the, what this weapon does. So linear comp compensator, more predictable recoil, and slightly boosts the velocity and decrease to blast radius. I like blast radius, so I may not pick that. And smart drive control, predictable and controllable recoil. That's pretty good. And penalty to velocity. Velocity, I really never really got, in my opinion. So, and then confined launch, great reduced recoil and significant penalty to velocity. Velocity, I never really got. Again, greatly reduced recoil. Um, but I would probably still stick with this, my opinion. Anyway, surplus. Extra, okay, except to find more ammo for this. Okay, okay. So, I mean, you have to have that, but pretty good. Um, quick draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast because I would take that because in Warhead Velocity, that's really never really didn't. I, I'm guessing Velocity is good, so I would say. And then quick draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. I think really most rocket launchers should have this. Because, say if you're in a situation where you're battling a bunch of bosses, but have no way out, and then you're just left with your rocket launcher. Try to take it out. Oh, they killed you already. And then, bam, and then you start crying on the ground. Because you didn't take the weapon out fast enough, and that's why you need quick draw. And then reload speed, or speed reload, this weapon can be... I was weapon quickly, so this reloads faster, basically. And then who's next? A kill with the final round and the okay. Increases the reload speed. Okay. That's pretty sick. So even if you don't have this on, or if you have the one of these two on, you still have this what can really amp up your reload speed. So it's all good. And then you got the legacy engram, which is a primary. So this is for a 40 of a 40 and I repeat of a 40. Level 40, you you get this. And then this is for Titan. Radiant Dance Machines. That's no backup plan for Titans. Radiant Dance Machines are for Hunters, level 40. Most of the stuff is level 40, guys. Impossible Machine, Warlock, level 40. Um, Dragon's Breath for anybody. So, pretty good. That's what I'm for this week, and it's armor. So, anyway, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and then all that stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Destiny Taken King. I need to up this video quick before 12 o'clock, so I don't get yelled at. But, anyway... See you guys later, and I hope you find the exotics you need, and what you can get for this week is going to be pretty lit. I already made my custom thumbnail, so I don't have to spend 20 minutes on that. I did it, like, two days before it. So, it's all good, and thank you for watching. Peace out, y'all. Hope you get your exotics.